So you already know all about your physiologic neutrophilia or excitement neutrophilia, and this is part of our excitement or physiologic leukogram. And this is mediated by epinephrine. And it's a part of the flight or fight response. Um, it can also be seen after strenuous exercise, but that's certainly much less common and you'd need to know history. It is characteristic of young, healthy animals, especially cats and horses, that are easily excited. So anytime you, the animal seems sick, is really anemic, etc., you do, are not going to think that there's an excitement or physiologic neutrophilia or leukogram. And so again, what happens with epinephrine? Well, two things happen. It causes your heart to contract, right, which is going to increase your blood flow, and it's going to cause your spleen to contract. And so when it does that, two things happen. You already know what happens when your spleen contracts. You release lots of red cells and you release platelets. And so you can see an increase in PCV and you can see a thrombocytosis. So we've already talked about that. So let's talk about what actually happens with your neutrophils and your lymphocytes. So when your heart rate increases, right, your blood flow flows much quicker from your increase in heart rate, and that causes all of your marginal, all the, all of the leukocytes that are stuck to the vessels, which are usually your neutrophils, maybe your lymphocytes, but it's mostly your neutrophils, they actually get washed off the vessel and they wind up in the circulating pool. So you can see then a mild neutrophilia, And it is similar to the stress leukogram in that it's mild and it's mature, meaning it's less than two times the upper reference limit. And remember, in cats, it can be a little bit higher because they have a, a greater amount that they can actually sort of release from their vessels. But most of the time, we're going to say it's relatively mild. It's always going to be mature. And you're also going to see a lymphocytosis, most commonly. And this is due to a similar mechanism to the neutrophilia, although it's also due to the fact that lymphocytes can't actually get back to lymph nodes, and so they remain in circulation. So you can see a mild lymphocytosis. Um, you can see a mild neutrophilia that's mature. You can see this erythrocytosis, thrombocytosis, and you can also see an increase in glucose due to epinephrine. So the big difference with the stress leukogram is going to be the lymphocytes. So with stress, there's a lymphopenia. With, there's ex with excitement, there's a lymphocytosis. Um, this gets a little bit difficult when we talk about animals with chronic inflammation because they can also have a lymphocytosis, and we'll talk about that. Another important thing to realize is that this is transient, uh, a transient neutrophilia, which once the animal settles down, everybody goes back to where they're supposed to be, and, um, and you don't expect any sort of leukocyte abnormalities. Again, the minute that you suspect that the animal's sick, or you can find evidence of inflammation, this type of leukogram excitement physiologic is very unlikely.